Hey everyone, I'm Angela Fazio. And I'm Kristen Cantrell. And today we're talking to Michelle Mojica again. On Girl Educate Yourself, which is a spinoff of Moms in Real Estate. And we're so excited because we just finished a session where she talked about how to uh, stay at amazing resorts for like $500 a week, which is incredible. But now she's going to talk about how do you get there? How do you, how do you get there? So she's going to talk about airfare today. So Michelle, please, I can't wait to hear the information. Okay, so... It's one thing to find rooms, obviously. What's cool about that uh, website on Interval is that it allows you 18 minutes to book the room. Okay, so when I find the rooms, I'll just press book it, especially if it's like a really, really good one. I'll get, and then I'll open up another window. One of my favorite, favorite um, website to go into is fly.com. So fly.com, and it actually will compare Expedia, it'll compare Kiwi, all these different ones that are on there. And from there, it will also put like American Airlines, right? And from there, actually, instead of going through that site, I'll actually go in and open up another window. So let's just say I found like American Airlines for cheap, then open it up on American Airlines because it's tricky. I mean, I don't like booking through a third party unless if it's a different price, mm -hmm. um, just because it gets a little bit complicated. You have to cancel or whatever else you need to get a hold of somebody. Um, but fly.com has been like, I'll find like Delta when we went to Europe one time. Delta was like $539 through fly.com. And then to go to Europe, like Barcelona, round trip from Phoenix, which was around Christmas time, which is ridiculous. Like 539 what we paid for round trip per person. And when I went on Delta, it was like $1,500. So in that situation, obviously, I would just book it through fly.com, um, mm -hmm. the third party, instead of paying like the extra $1,000. So, and another thing too, is they have these calendars that are on there. Um, the biggest thing is, don't like especially for us in real estate like we have the flexibility right so what i do is i maximize like the leaving on a friday staying there the whole week and then coming back on a sunday so you can have like 11 days at your destination but play around with the calendar because sometimes you can leave you know morning day and night um and it's easier that way if you have like a favorite here's another hack too is if you have a favorite favorite airline i think for me I love American Airlines because then you can ac accumulate points. What happens sometimes is with those airlines, they have like sales. And I don't have to do this because I use one card for like everything. My American Airlines card, I use it for everything. So I think I at one point I had like 350,000 miles. Okay. I just, I mean, it accumulates year after year. So, and if you, I'm not trying to promote credit card debt or anything like that, but if you're going to use your debit card anyway, just have a habit of making sure you pay it off. So I use, point especially if it's last minute um and for us that are in real estate we can really get up and go last minute so if you can buy those on points you can fly so we what we did we went to turks and caicos here's an example for christmas time it was i think right after christmas we left right after christmas round trip for turks and caicos was twenty five thousand points first class first class <laughs> on American Airlines. And since it was an international travel, the fee, cause you know, they have these international taxes, it was only like a hundred dollars. So for $200, my husband and I got to fly to Turks and Caicos for $200 first class. And of course we stayed in the room for like 500 bucks. Um, crazy. Would, yeah, it's crazy. And here's another tip too, and how you can get three seats. Everyone's always like, how do you always get three seats? Um, if there are some seats available, so what you can do is you can book your air, you can book your airfare and you know how you pick your seats, right? So if it's just the two of us, I pick like the aisle and the window seat because most of the time nobody's going to sit in between you if the flights are not that full. So that's normally like a free um, seat right there. But if you were, if you were jumping on the plane, you can actually go like on AA.com. I use American Airlines as an example all the time because that's what I fly with. That's who I fly with. If you go on AA.com, um, it will show the seating arrangements on there. And if something was sitting in between you, you can actually keep an eye like on the seat that are like, let's just say, say an aisle or a window. And I've actually asked people to move before. <laughs> so I would say, hey, I would be like, hey, Kristen, do you, not that I would know your name and be like, that seat actually right there is like an aisle seat, unless you really want to sit in between us. And that's how most of the time, I mean, because that person next to me anyway, 
would prefer like either an aisle or a window. And most of the time, people just don't know how to look it up, like to see what mm-hmm. seats are actually available, and they just kind of want to sit wherever they're supposed to sit. Um, but yeah, that's how I get like three seats like all the time, especially for those long flights. This is like before we were flying like first class now before I actually had that. But I would get three seats and I would just like lay down or I'll move my kids, wherever. And like we have all three seats or like six seats all together. So So go back. So I, cause you I was tracking you. You say you go and you're about to book a a resort, right? And then you've got 18 minutes. So then you go to fly.com and you find a flight and then you go to the airline and you decide which one are you gonna book on? If you're happy, you book the flight and then you go back within the 18 minutes and get the room? Yes. (laughs) and here's another thing too is if you book on like american airlines you have 24 hours to cancel it oh, so i don't I know if you guys know that but yeah most people don't know that they think it's like non-refundable even if it says like non-refundable on there you really have 24 hours to call and cancel oh. um or or if you're like me, like you already know, like when the kids' schedules are like fall break, spring break, or whatever else, like I don't necessarily have to check with my husband if we can go because I already know we can go. So if you've already been searching, you know, for a while, you already know, like this is the moment where we can, you know, jump on, really book it. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, that's how I found tickets. But honestly, points is really a game changer because I mean, as I was sharing with you guys previously, we're going to Peru and just first class flights, just one way is like $6,000 on business class with like the lay down seats. And we were able to get those and play around. Um, The other thing too is make sure. Uh oh. Make like, sure what? Was the, I don't know, it was the gem. <laughs> Come back, you came <laughs> back. Yeah. Make sure what? Make sure what? Um, to play around with the calendar. You know, there's a calendar uh, there. You can also put like my dates are flexible. I can leave five days before, five days later. Um, because if you left like on a Tuesday or Wednesday, it could be like a couple hundred dollars cheaper than leaving like on a Friday or a Saturday. So always use like the like the airfare calendars as well. Sometimes. So it sounds like you also have to have a mind shift. You have to say, okay. If I'm gonna be working the system like you do so well, you've got to go, all right, husband or whatever. We're we are if I find something in these time frames, I'm going for it. Are you in agreement? Yes. So then you have the ability to say, I'm taking it, I'm taking it, right? Yeah. And and definitely, and it's great for like girls' trips too, you know. <laughs> I know. One's always like, why do you always have to go? Because it's like, I feel like when you find these beautiful places to go, and that's another thing too, I, why I love the timeshare part of it, is like, I'll find like the best rooms on there, places we probably would never think of going. But since there's resorts there, there's something something to see there, right? Like no one yeah. places where you don't want to go to. So if there's specifically a timeshare where people own, where some people actually keep going back every year, there's always something to do, something beautiful to see. And if you can find the airfare, to go i mean right now you can find stuff oh keep an eye on southwest airlines too southwest airlines has flights sometimes for like 40 bucks 50 dollars and southwest um southwest you can cancel really anytime and get a credit so get used to airlines where if you needed to cancel you can get a credit or if you need to cancel within 24 hours so if you needed to check the schedule you need to get time off just put a hold on it sometimes you can even hold it for free for like seven days and cancel yeah there's a whole American has a hold option. I have a really important question. Yeah. Yeah. You're probably going to know right off the top of your head. Tell us two things. The most luxurious resort you've ever stayed in. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and a couple of your favorite places that you've ever been to. Okay. Most luxurious resort is um, the Le Meridian. And that's not even the most luxurious. We wanted to stay at St. Regis, but that was really, really like three times the price. And, Bo- and that was Le Meridian in Bora Bora. And it had like, it was an overwater bungalow and you could see um, underneath, you know, like the sharks and walking to your, it's just beautiful, very peaceful. Now we didn't get that um, through the timeshare. However, by staying at all the, there's so many more benefits that would probably take us like hours to go through. But when we stay at these timeshares, you can also get like elite benefits. So like now I'm like a titanium elite member. <laughs> 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 
$2,700 at the Marriott. And I have like 93 nights that I've stayed in so far this year. But when you're a titanium <laughs> member, like they upgrade you to all these like beautiful rooms. Like we were in Puerto Rico and we stayed like at a 2,500 square foot penthouse, right? For like a hundred dollar upgrade fee. <laughs> 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 yeah that's actually, awesome actually that the Bora Bora one and the Puerto Rico Sheraton they upgraded us it was like a 2500 square foot presidential suite like you can see this hallway it was so long um <laughs> and we stayed there for like 400 dollars <laughs> so. awesome. is your husband just like amazed I, okay, he's like so tired of traveling. But <laughs> he's amazed at how like I can get the room super, super cheap because he knows I would never spend that much. I mean, when we yeah. were in Hawaii for like we stayed, we were in Hawaii for eleven weeks last year, and yeah, we it was like eight weeks in Oahu and three weeks in Maui, and we did the calculations. Like he's more blown away by how much money we're like saving. It would have cost us seventy six thousand dollars to stay in Hawaii. And that's one thing too, is a shift in believing like it's possible, right? Because I used to be mm -hmm. like, okay, how are you going to stay in Hawaii the whole summer? Like with these prices, you know, I mean, come on, a gallon of milk is like $8. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what, I just wrote it down. And I'm like, all right, God, I really want to stay, you know, I want to stay in Hawaii the whole summer. It's just beautiful. And we ended up doing it last year. I mean, benefit, benefit of the pandemic, but I mean, because there was hardly anybody there. Um, but that was, you know, I know I'm all over the place. Luxurious resort. <laughs> <So good. laughs> More yeah. Nora, um, the Sheraton penthouse suite. There was another one, but I forgot because I kept. What's your it. favorite places to stay in the U.S.? Oh, favorite places. Okay, Hawaii is my favorite. One of my favorites. Um, Oregon coast. If you guys have never been, everyone's always so surprised because we've been at so many places here, but. If you guys have never been to the Oregon coast, it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, we stayed in Seaside. There's a timeshare there at, in Seaside in Oregon, and you can just go up and down the coast. It's just absolutely, absolutely beautiful. There's nothing I've ever see, seen or even compared to like anywhere else. That was perfect. Yeah, that is perfect. I, your your um, episodes are going to get like 17,000 listens. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Thank you. And you guys can even like title it like you know how to fly to first class for like two hundred dollars to Turks and Caicos. People love Turks and Caicos. Um, yeah, yeah. So, well, thank you again for doing another episode, helping us to get smarter about great travel. Yeah, because I am like the opposite of you. Me I too. wish I'm very envious of you. Oh, me too. I want you to come into my family. <laughs> I was like, yeah, anybody, you need adopted. I know. And people are just like, you're like the Oprah of, because uh, I give, you know, I give some of my weeks away. And it's like, you're like the Oprah of like vacations. You get a vacation. You get a vacation. You get a vacation. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm happy to do a Zoom with you guys. It'll blow like some of the weeks that I have found. It's it's amazing. And I feel like we're God is on that. We're going to, we, we're starting something called Girl Educate Yourself Conversations. And we're going to take you up on that. Totally. We're going to have you do a Zoom, a couple of Zooms with us this next year. I would be happy to, and I'm grateful for you guys to have me on here. I really do feel like God has called me to, you know, help families build strong foundations and beautiful memories through travel. And that's the reason why I feel like I light up every time I really talk about it. So you really do. And God has surely yes, blessed you, you. So thank you. Thank you again, Michelle. Thank you Bye. everyone for listening or watching and we'll see you next time. See you later. Bye, Michelle. <laughs>